guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we are going to fix an electric step of a camper. But before starting, have you subscribed? Please do so, it's free. Doesn't cost nothing to you, but it will help quite much the growth of the channel. So please take a minute to click subscribe. But now let's continue. So here we are. This is the electric step that now is open. Let's try to close it. Close it very slowly. So apparently we are running out of battery. And the problem that he showed up is that it falls down perfectly, but then he not turn up. Or sometimes it turns down and up, sometimes not. But I've noticed that if we tap over here, it starts to work. So here is the box that is containing the electric motor. And now we are going to open it to see if there is any loose contact. Before starting, let's have a brief look on the electrical diagram, because I assume the issue we have is an electrical one. So here you can see the scheme and this is the control unit that is managing the movement of the step and to the control unit here we have the command that basically is the up and down switch and this command is located close to the door. This of course is the motor and what you can find here this is a lamp because this lamp is located on the dashboard and when you sit on the driver's seat you can see that the lamp is red so it's open in case the step is in down position and here this is connection to the ignition because if you turn on the ignition the step will be automatically be closed so it will go to the open sorry to the close position to the up position to prevent you to start to drive with the step down but now my focus it will be on these two elements so here we have a stop switch that basically is adjustable and tells you or better to say tell to the control unit when the step is closed so when it is in up position this other one is a miniature limit switch and i have the gut feeling that the control unit by combining the signal of these two switches try to detect which is the position of the step and i assume the control unit have a sort of fail safe mode that in case of doubt or let's say contradictory signal from the two sensor she will keep the step closed and will prevent you to open it as a safe mode because with the step closed you can drive the camper with the step open you cannot and there is no basically easy manual way to keep it closed my bet is that one of these two components are creating us the issue so back to the real life and have a look if we can fix the problem this is the box where are hidden the controls and apparently is closed by this nut and this one so let's try to remove this good let's try some all right nice wiring and let's see how it looks inside so not too bad let's zoom out a bit so cables looks okay so maybe this connector is something we have to check or 
eventually the brush of the electric motor itself. Here, I don't know if you can see inside here, where there are the two switches that can also be the issue. So I don't know if you can see here, there are the two switches. Inside here, if you can see down here, the two switches. The status of the connector is pretty good. Just a very, very light oxidation. So I don't believe this is an issue, but anyway, we will put over there some contact cleaner. Apparently fixed, but also in the past it was working and not working. So in any case, I believe we are going to clean also the other connections. Let's see if by applying some weight on the roof, it will change something on the positions. But it works, it works. It could be that was just a problem of misconnection. I mean, one connector honestly was not really well plugged in, I have to say. So that could be a potential one issue. But once more, I think we have also to clean a bit the, the, the micro switch that I hope you can see there better than me. Because I think that could be the one that created the problem. Because when we give some benches here, I mean, we can definitely touch these parts. The electric motor runs smoothly. There are no other symptoms that can lead me to think about the electric motor itself. So I'm rather more keen to say that the issue could be on the which I was really worried that, you know, sometimes this cable could be eaten by some small mouses, but these are very, very okay. And I mean, even the insulation, I mean, it's, I mean, it, even if it's 30 years old, it's pretty okay. So once more, now let's try to dig out how to access this these connectors here these connectors here and a typical issue that this this kind of electric step are having they have a tendency to break these connectors here this connection it's quite often that it breaks but in our case it's very solid and in shape so even this one this this pin this is another this pin is also another typical area of subject to damages and you can see that in fact it's working quite much there so this is another issue typical of this but not in our case so i would rather say that this switch here oh uh, sorry can you see here i would rather say that this switch could be our problem this is very difficult to film, so I hope you will be able to see it. So what we have done, I'm sorry, I will not been able to film it because the phone fallen down, but we have, uh, we have cleaned 
the contact of the micro switch and we have also lubricated the micro switch that I believe was the reason for that fault. Once more, we have been lucky, we fixed it, uh, it works. Even the wife approved the fix, so she made a few steps up, down, open, close, and it works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Ciao, ciao, bye bye. Ah, one last thing, subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care, ciao.